Hi, I'm Delta and I welcome you to my channel. With the Space Engineers release of planets uh, quite recently, I found myself on the surface of a planet with the challenge of mining ores, actually. Uh, on the forums I saw multiple people with the same challenge and I decided to, um, to try and solve it my way, so I looked at different um, vehicle options and quickly decided that a flying rover, flying mining rig wasn't, uh, wasn't the ideal solution for me. So I wanted to go wheeled. I wanted to go uh, with wheels to uh, make a sort of excavator. And um, this is the uh, design, I, design I came up with. It's uh, the Honey Badger Mark 1, actually. Uh, still needs a lot of improvements. In the beginning of the video, it doesn't even uh, have any... Uh, how do you call it? Storage capacity yet. Which will be a problem when the grills get full when the weight adds up. But as you see, I uh, have just started it up. The wheel is turning and the arm is slightly lowered. I actually forgot to uh, clean up that command chair there. I used it well, I think. Um, but the arm lowered a little bit. You see the pistons right there that extend it. So the hinges, which are modded item, um, would allow the arm to lower a little. Let's, let's go ahead and change, uh, change a few settings because the thing doesn't only uh, go up and down, it also rotates, as you see it's rotating at the moment. It's a little fast, I believe, but we'll change that in about a second. We go we go check out how fast it actually goes, and as you see it's, it's, about, it's currently 0 0.05 meters per second, that is. Meters per... What is the meter per second? Rotations per minute? Rotations per minute, that's what it is. But it's too fast, so we'll change it to a little slower. And uh, that, then it'll be fine. Also, the piston speed, uh, we'll, we'll lower it a little more. Piston uh, extension, the depth of the wheel needs to be a little lower because it can handle it just fine, I think. But we'll, uh, we'll see about that. Yeah. As you see, the, all, the materials is, all the materials are capable of being uh, transferred back uh, from the drills to the somewhere inside the machine. The conveyor uh, pipe is all there. Uh, currently, it isn't attached, as I said in the video. But um, you just saw those conveyors near the, the ends, the counterweight balance, and that was uh, just fine. I can attach something there. We'll see about that in a second. Uh, after this recording, I'll uh, I'll just add some some storage capacity so the drills don't get too heavy. So I see that got some problems. That's uh, currently I'm adapting the piston speed slightly. That's uh, so I can lower it some more, uh, a little easier. That's always good. More control is better. The problem with this, this uh, rig is the um, the wheels, sometimes they, they just roll backwards out of nothing. And that's, uh, that's a problem, obviously. Uh, but there, problems are there to be solved. I'll, uh, I'll cut away in a minute. And then I'll come back to you once I have a, a whole show off. Because, as you may see, uh, it gathers a lot, a lot of materials, a lot of ice at the moment. But isn't going very fast. So, so here I am with take two. Um, this part two actually of the hole I built. You see the, the mining rig fully uh, deployed into the ground, it can't go any further. Whereas the, the, the arm itself will touch the edge of the crater. Um, I've added a storage container since, as I predicted, the uh, weight of the drill started to be an issue. And that's all, that's all there is to show off the content of the container. I hope I've entertained you and have given you some inspiration. Let me know what you think and subscribe or like if you want to. Or not. I also hope to see you next time. Have fun with planets, space engineers and mining. Bye bye.